America lags the developed world with regard to our health care system, and I appreciate that Representative Vile recognized this fact as well as the fact that our maternal mortality rate is higher than all of the industrialized world. In fact, almost all of our health outcomes are worse. Even so, over the last year, the federal government has been chipping away at access to affordable health care. They've tried to eliminate coverage for pre-existing conditions. They've tried to deter ACA enrollment by cutting the outreach budget by 90% and repealing the individual mandate. They've attempted to roll back coverage for Medicaid and Medicare, including a delay in extending the Children's Health Insurance Program. But Oregon can aspire to a healthier future for all of our residents. By passing this resolution, we're giving Oregonians the opportunity to, de to declare that health care is a right for everyone and that our policy should reflect that. I do just want to say that I recognize everyone here believes that education for K through 12 is a right. And I don't think we'd be satisfied by saying it's all right that 5% that or 10% of our population cannot access it. So if voters affirm this, it will direct future legislatures to protect the expansions that we have recently made, which now results in covering 95% of our population. And it will direct them to provide cost-effective, medically appropriate, and affordable health care to all Oregonians. All of this, indeed, will have to be defined by statutes. At some point in our lives, each of us will need health care. Every person, regardless of age, pre-existing condition, income, race, or religion, should, have, should be able to access basic care. This bill gives Oregonians a voice in what our legislature should prioritize for the betterment of our state, and I urge an I vote.